Welcome to Redbeard and the Den of Tools. Howdy ho guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, and today we're here to talk about some of the new items dropped by Harbor Freight this week. Let's jump into it. Yeah, they're bringing the heat. Now, some of you may remember, the bear called it. The bear called it. Yeah, anytime you see something showing up a lot in the clearance items, like, uh, you know, they have that end cap where they're always clearing stuff out. Now, I'm not talking about the open box stuff in the back of the store. I'm talking about near the back of the store on one of the back end caps, you'll see a purple and yellow clearance sign. And anytime you see tools repeatedly showing up on that shelf, you can be pretty assured that they're about to clear that out. But anyway, the bear noticed that the heat guns had been showing up there quite a bit. And my speculation was that they were going to replace it with something. And sure enough, they're bowerizing it. Honestly, this isn't anything fantastic other than a really cooler version, cooler, I guess that's the right way, cooler version of their old heat gun. They had one that was pretty much the same, had the same kind of hand guard to it and everything. But all in all, is it good? Well, it's a 12 amp, 1600 watt dual temperature heat gun. Now, I've been a big fan of their, I don't know if you call it digital. Basically, it's got a little press pad on the back where you can select lots of different heat settings. And, and that's great, but honestly, it's kind of overkill. No one's going to select 800 versus 900 or something like that. This one's just fine. You just... If you want to change the heat, you just vary how far away from the gun it, it's sitting. The good thing about this, and I'm glad that they show it, and a lot of people just don't seem to grasp the concept, is when working with a heat gun, it's good to have both your paws free. And the back side of this and the handle, as pictured there, you can set it down on your bench in upright position and use both your paws on your work. And this is actually a really useful thing to do. Uh, it, it looks like a, a decent gun. I haven't gotten paws on with it yet. But I uh, hope to grab a grab one of these to take a look at it soon. Next, we've got the Luminaire Outdoor Lantern. 360 degrees of light from an LED. Uh, I'm a huge LED fan. Ever, ever since the LEDs started coming out, uh, you know, they were really expensive, but prices have dropped, and I try to use LED on everything. You know, in our RV, I converted all the indoor lights to LED. Uh, you know, everything I can, I like to use LED on. It uses less energy. You get an even diffuse light with no hot spots, which makes it better when you're working on stuff, makes it better to, to see what you're doing. And if you're going camping, uh, especially like if you're backpacking in, battery, you know, fuel life on lights is a big issue. And these LEDs, they, they sip rather than drink from that, that battery well. And I'm expecting that this would be pretty decent. I've been playing around with a lot of the the Harbor Freight lighting equipment stuff that they've been coming out with. I need to do a video on it here shortly. Uh, I'm sure we'll get around to it, but I'm sure the Cubs are excited about this. Next, we've got the Thunderbolt Magnum <laughs> solar panel. Well, th I hope this is good. Uh, in fact, the Bears planning to head down to Harbor Freight to pick one of these up today. Uh, I have used the Harbor Freight panels in the past, and they worked great until they melted. Yeah. We had a, 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 what was it, a GMC Suburban that we only drove every so often, and it, it had a power drain somewhere. So I picked up one of these with the idea of throwing it up in the dash to trickle charge it, uh, and uh, yeah, it, it and this was in Central California, uh, like Northern Central California, so it wasn't like we got stupid heat. I mean, it would get over 100, you know, on a regular occasion, but it's not like here in Vegas, and the, it came out looking like one of those uh, potato chips, the waffle cut kind of chips. The whole point of this is that you can plug it in to like a cigarette lighter, throw it up on your dash and charge it. And it melted. I mean, it's kind of the point, right? <laughs> so anyway, I'm hoping that this, you know, it goes, it has uh 66% more power. So it should be like having the three of those panels. Or I don't know what they're comparing that versus whether it's the old one or some competitor or something. But the point is, that uh, the Bears going to give it a try, and we'll have a review of that here for you shortly, or short-ishly. Now, Harbor Freight's decided that they're going to come out with a whole new line of gloves to help you keep your hands, you know, clean and safe when working. We got open cuff padded mechanics gloves, ultra durable mechanics gloves, high vis in your choice of orange or yellow. More nailers. Yeah. <laughs> we know Harbor Freight came out with the aptly named Pierce line of nailers, uh, but it wasn't a huge line. There was only like four or five of them. 
And now we've got banks, ideal for job site construction. So let's take a look at the, the line of banks tools here. They, you know, they've got a, quite a, a plethora of tools compared to the peers. Uh, it looks like we've got here, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. We've got some regular nailers, some finished nailers, a drum uh, nailer, some roofing, and even a floor uh, nailer. So quite quite a wide range. Now to really understand though where this falls in with the uh, the other tools that Harbor Freight sells in this kind of family, I'm gonna I'm gonna compare the 18 uh, inch or I'm sorry the 18 gauge Brad nailer. Uh, just because it's kind of a, an inexpensive nailer that, that most uh, folks around the shop might have. Uh, it looks like a decent nailer. I mean, it's got a nice grip, good good setup there. I haven't actually held one, so I can't tell you about the construction of it. I will say, though, it looks an awful lot like the Central Pneumatics nailer, just in a new color scheme. There's the, the Central Pneumatics, uh, and you've got the cap there with your screws, your trigger, rubberized grip. Okay, so it's definitely not the same tool, just repainted. So the real question here is price, and the Banks Nailer is listed at, let me make sure I got my numbers right here, $29.99, which that seems like a decent price. The 18 gauge Central Pneumatics Nailer is listed at $22.99. By comparison, the Pierce PRC 18 has a hefty price of $59.99. So we've got one nailer in at just over $20, one nailer just under $30, and the next nailer doubles the price and comes in at almost $60. So the real question is, what's going to be the role of these new Banks nailers at Harbor Freight? Is Central Pneumatic going away? Are they going to lower the price on the Central Pneumatic to make them an entry level? Because the price differential between the two just isn't there. Now, to be fair, Central Pneumatics line still has a much wider range of tools. They probably have more tools than both Pierce and Banks combined. But it's obvious that their uh, Harbor Freight's going whole hog into the Banks line with bringing out that many tools in a new rollout. Pierce is well established at Harbor Freight as one of their new premium level brands. They're comparing it, of course, here against the Hitachi, which, as anyone in the trades knows, is a well-known, reliable, professional nail system. Uh, Hitachi is one of the go-to guns for people who do this sort of thing for a living. And Pierce is obviously trying to come in and take a piece of their market. Again, though, I think they're running into the same issue they run into with most of their upper-end prosumer tools, which is... Yeah, that's great and all, but you know, at $60 versus $70, how many people do you know would risk going with an unknown for a difference of $10 at that price point? I don't know about you, but if my job's on the line, it's probably not a call I'm going to make. The only thing I can assume is that they're going after the home DIYer who wants to pretend like he's using professional tools, but is willing to save a few bucks. And, and maybe there are people out there willing to do that. Uh, personally, if I'm a home DIYer, I'm probably going to end up being pretty happy going with this Banks line. Uh, I've been pretty happy with the you know Chicago pneumatics. But again, I'm not doing this for work. I just do this around the shop, around the house. But the real question is, what do you guys think? What do you think about the new Banks line of tools? Do you think it's going to replace the Chicago pneumatics? Do you care? Or is this something you'd be interested in? Are you excited about this new line of maybe slightly better tools at a moderate price increase? Anyway, guys and gals, that's all I got for you. Just a quick update about the new tools dropped by Harbor Freight this week. Take care, and as always, shine on. Thanks for watching the video. If you'd like to help support the channel, the easiest way is our 1-2-3 method. First, chomp that like button, give us a thumbs up, spread the word with a share, and subscribe and ring the bell. Remember, if you don't ring the bell, YouTube doesn't really believe that you want to watch the videos. But maybe you'd like to take it a step further. Maybe you want to go over to Patreon and consider subscribing to the channel. For only a dollar a month, you can become a Black Bear member and help support the Den of Tools. Also, YouTube now allows us to sell merch directly on each video. Yeah, if you scroll down below the video, right where you see the description, right below that, you should start seeing a little pop-up window that shows you some of the Den of Tools merch. 
Or pick up a copy of the Home Distiller's Workbook, your guide to making moonshine, whiskey, vodka, rum, and so much more. And we still have the DeBear shirts available. Links to those items, as always, are in the description below.